name is Nicole and I survived my first pediatric cancer and I'm currently battling my second. My first cancer occurred when I was 16. It actually began on Thanksgiving 2008. I had um, some chest pains going on. So we went to the emergency room on Thanksgiving day and they said that I had pleurisy, um, which is a chest infection. So they gave me some steroids for that, cleared it up. Um, fast forward to January 2009, the chest came chest pains came back a lot worse, um, did some testing, biopsies, I was transferred from Payless Hospital to here. After two biopsies, they were able to find a chest tumor and they took out some lymph nodes and I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma stage 3B. And so I did three rounds of chemotherapy and 28 sessions of radiation. The treatment in total for that one was five months, so I was diagnosed in January 2009 and I became cancer free in June of 2009. Um, in between that time through now, I finished high school, even after missing a whole semester, I finished with honors. And then come September 2015, I noticed uh, uh, my, a pain in my lower stomach and hardness in my lower stomach. Went to the doctor, um, ended up finding a mass in my lower stomach actually connected to my uterus and it ended up being Ewing sarcoma. And so that's rare in general and then it's rare for me being 23 to get a Ewing sarcoma because it is meant for being a pediatric cancer. Um, but that's what I'm doing now, I'm going through chemotherapy. I have 17 rounds total and I just started my 13th round. Cancer has many different feelings. There's positive feelings, feelings of hope, feelings of strength that you have never thought you had. Um, and then there's the bad feelings, the physical feelings. There's feelings of pain and the side effects of chemo. My chemotherapy was pretty harsh. Radiation was a little easier. So I can say that there's both positive and negative feelings when it comes to cancer. I had a lot of support from Child Life here, and one of the meditation tapes that I got, I listened to, and I'll never forget it, at the end it said, I have cancer, cancer does not have me. And that stuck with me to this day. So that's a big line that I have always stuck with. Meditation helps, journaling helps, even just letting yourself cry, let your emotions out. That's what I tell everyone, don't be afraid. You deserve to cry, you deserve to feel sad. Let it out and then stand up tall and say, you know, I have cancer, cancer does not have me. My name is Nicole and my handprint tells my story.